change where I-95 and Pooler Parkway meet is frequently congested and they want to change that. WJCL Sharon Johnson is live now at Pooler City Hall where a meeting just wrapped up on a congestion study. Sharon, what did you learn? Well, Chatham County officials say that they want to reduce congestion and improve access at the Pooler Parkway and I-95 interchange. So the Metropolitan Planning Commission is working with them to complete a study that's going to look at current and future traffic conditions. They say because of Pooler's that, rapid that growth in commerce, there are constant the safety store, issues on that store. stretch, and the study will evaluate what leads to the traffic issues and develop new roadway models for I-95 and Pooler Parkway. So all those people are coming in in the morning and leaving in the afternoon, and we want to make sure that we, we can uh, maintain proper access in this area just for economic growth and for economic development because if the traffic gets too bad, you know, people won't come around anymore. And there is no timetable for the I-95 Pooler Parkway interchange study, and Smeaton says the study is a part of a long-range transportation plan. Reporting in Pooler, Sharon Johnson, WJCL 22 News. Sharon, thank you. Right now, traffic is back to normal on Savannah's south side, but about 11 o'clock this morning, Savannah police closed down Abercorn between Rio Road and Apache Avenue due to a multi-car crash. At least one car flipped over. Obviously